Senior night at the ballpark as your Louisville High School Wildcats baseball team honored their four seniors on senior night on Thursday evening. You saw Shamar Island and Deontay Yarbrough a little bit there earlier. There's Takobi Johnson and manager Denton Orr. All four seniors honored on Thursday night at the ballpark as your Wildcats trying to close out their home regular season slate on a good note as your Wildcats were hosting the Philadelphia Tornadoes on Thursday night. Now we'd be down in the first inning, but don't you worry, we would get the bases fully loaded, full of Wildcats, and Ty Cooper is your batter at the plate. He draws a walk that would score Dre Shoemaker. That would tie this game at two. So bases still loaded for freshman Orion Evans, and Big O is gonna come up big. This one gonna drop down right in front of the center fielder, right out of his glove. All three Wildcats would score. The bases would be cleared, including Ty Cooper sliding in gracefully. The uh, French judge gave that a 9.5. Your Wildcats lead 5-2 after one. Top two to Kobe Johnson. Going to settle in on the mound. Gets the swinging strikeout right there, but he would need a little defense from his catcher right after this. Bases would be loaded. Philly tries to squeeze, and instead the third base runner gets a huge lead off the bag, off that squeeze play. Roper Stutes, not up in here, runs him down, gets the tag and the out. That would limit the damage in the second. Let's get the bats going here in the second. Dre Shoemaker would get the uh, walk a little bit earlier, and then when he gets on first, it's an auto steal, and you are not throwing him out if he gets a good jump. But we wouldn't get any runs in the second. Don't worry. In the third, Kobe Johnson gets the strike strikeout looking right there. Take your bow, Mr. Senior, on his final home regular season game. But we'd have to add some runs in the third inning. We would do that. We'd get a little momentum. Here's Camden Sanders putting one into left for a base knock. So we got a runner on. And Cam would eventually advance over to second. And then Ty Cooper taking a big rip into right. Gets past the right fielder, which means Camden Sanders can trot home easily. It's now a 6-3 to three lead for your Wildcats as Ty ends up sliding in safely at second. Into Kobe Johnson getting in on the hit parade. This one gets into left for a base knock. That would put him on. And then Dre Shoemaker drawing yet another walk. They just continue to roll for the Wildcats. That The bases would be loaded once more. And this time it would be Roper Stutes coming up with the big bat and the big play. Pushing one right past the shortstop. That would score two more Wildcats, including Shamar Island. But your Cats would fall in the end in a wild game, a really high-scoring game, 18-10. But not to worry, if you didn't catch your Wildcats on Thursday night at the ballpark, they will be hosting a home playoff game next week as your Wildcats get ready to continue their journey in the postseason next week.